Story by Cassandra Yorgi, February 13, 2023, 226 p.m. Posted on Exemplar.com. So far, it's great news for ufologists and mostly confusing for everybody else. Several unidentified flying objects have now been shot down over United States airspace in the sense that we literally do not know what these things are yet, including the White House. Officials are currently undergoing a recovery operation to retrieve the debris from the unknown craft brought down over Alaska, but pilots who saw it themselves say it was unlike anything they've seen before because it had no visible means of propulsion. These unidentified objects are different than the now identified Chinese spy balloon and are described as smaller, although that is relative as they are estimated to be about the size of a car compared to the spy balloon which was about the size of three buses. Officials say the objects were determined to be unmanned without communication capabilities, although that seems difficult to ascertain definitively without examining the downed objects. Related video, unidentified objects shot down by U.S. military over Great Lakes region. Retrieving the debris is turning out to be a challenge due to the wintry conditions and difficult to traverse landscape over which the UFOs were shot down. Canada is also in the process of recovering remains from something unidentified trespassing in their airspace and Prime Minister Trudeau has been working with President Biden to cooperatively address this potential threat to North America. Why are so many unidentified aerial phenomena, to use the government's phrasing, popping up all of a sudden? Data scientists say it's because because they've adjusted the parameters of what they are searching for based on the discovery of how many relevant objects were going undetected. Essentially, they've tuned the monitoring systems to look for smaller objects than they were previously. Anybody who spent any amount of time stargazing or looking at TikTok videos already knew there were unidentified things whizzing around way up in the sky. But the understandable first assumption is that the government already knows about it because they monitor airspace. Then there is the matter of who do you tell. It's not like there is a UFO hotline to report sightings, and many skeptics discard all reports as if unidentified equals alien which clearly it does not. This leaves most UFO sightings as videos on social media of somebody who managed to grab their phone in time to record the weird thing and then a post to social media asking if anybody knows what it is, while also assuming if it was a big deal that somebody important would already know about it. If you like this content and want to watch the skies with us, then please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.